Hi, I'm Rob from Two Docs Talk, joined by my co-host Abbas. Today we're going to delve into the nebulous and often confusing and controversial world of protein. This is such a massive topic. We wanted to do a short video just to start the discussion. Also, we're going to have a huge uh, discussion at the end about protein powders um, and some things that you might not know about your uh, protein powder or protein powder in general. I'll let Abbas start off by describing what is protein. Protein is one of the essential ingredients in, in every tissue in our body. So uh, muscle, bone, skin, hair, uh, virtually every uh, part of our body um, that uh, uh, has a protein. The protein as um, compared to fat and carbohydrate, we do not store them in our bodies. So they're essential that we get a good nutrition to have that. As a part of we grow, one of the key things is of course muscle mass and protein for our longevity. So it's essential to for us to get adequate protein. And some of the protein called essential amino acid, which is the blocks of the uh, uh, our protein, I will go through some of them, which is nine of them at least, histamine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, um, Meta, um, uh, phenylalanine and, and other things as well. You can read those yourself. These are that we do not have, cannot produce in our body. So we have to get those from our nutrition. And the protein is very, very important for immune system, longevity, and every cells in our body to produce enzymes. These are all basic come from protein. Broadly, proteins are divided into plant-based or animal-based sources. And the uh, both uh, have protein. The one key uh, difference is that for most plant foods, uh, those proteins are not going to be uh, complete. And what we mean is complete for the human eating them. So we need nine of the amino acids. These amino acid chains make up protein. And these nine are, are uh, there's usually one or two that are not in plant-based foods. However, you can overcome that by eating different plant-based foods. So you can still get a complete set of, of uh, proteins from plant-based foods. However, if you just eat one uh, plant-based food predominantly, that's a problem. So if you just eat you know, potato or carrots uh, in a huge amount, think you're going to get all your protein or even kale, you're, you'll be mistaken because you're not going to get all nine essential amino acids. The other 20 plus amino acids our body can make. So you just need those nine. And then you, it's kind of amazing, actually. You can, you can actually make the other, the other 11 plus um, on our own. But we need the nine. If you, don't, if you just get eight of them, you're, you'll have poor health because you can't make all the proteins in your body that you need to. Those are, those are made by the liver. They characterize what's called enzymes, which make um, the reactions of life happen. There's many, many things that our body does with protein, um, making, you know, copying DNA and making muscle and all the other things that, it, that protein does. It's quite amazing. Animal-based proteins are usually you known as complete. So they have all the nine essential amino acids and others as well. And so uh, and the, the key thing with um, to distinguish plant versus animal um, protein is that typically the animal proteins are more concentrated. So for example, a piece of meat, chicken, fish, beef, what, what have you, it's going to have a much higher gram um, concentration of uh, proteins in it relative to say a plant-based food. Um, you may need many, many cups of, of kale or carrots to equate to the same amount of protein. You can do it. It can be done. So um, in, in terms of a, a diet, a plant-based diet versus an animal-based diet, you can do it. You can get all the essential amino acids and enough protein with, an, with a plant-based diet. You just have to eat more of those plant-based foods to get the uh, recommended uh, amounts of protein. And this is another area of controversy. So I'll let a boss dive in and then I'll, I'll make some comments as well. Yes, how much protein what we need is also is... Uh variable from study stat, but essentially we need about 0.8 gram uh, per kilogram. So 
So it's a really body based um, how much uh, we need. For example, for uh, a person that is 140 pounds, we need about 50 gram of protein each day. But if you're 200 pounds, they probably need to go 70. So as a part of the protein doesn't come is a pure form. So when we eat something, we need us what else comes with it. For example, as Rob mentioned, uh, um, with uh, animal protein, for example, if you eat a four ounce, say sirloin steaks, so you need to know also there's a lot, you know, there's five grams of saturated fat comes with that. So if you have, uh, yeah, eat ham and 22 grams, you need to know that there's what, you know, 1,500 of sodium comes with that. So you say you need to know that uh, um, how your protein comes. That's why you sort of, for example, salmon and some of the, the fatty fish, they, 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 their fat is good and they have more omega-3. So selection of the fiber, uh, whether from animal or, or a plant-based, so you need to choose um, you know, wisely, maybe the a variety of these things that uh, give you the basic uh, essential um, nutrient that you need. So oftentimes there's a big uh, question about older adults and so, and you could even define that as anyone over age, starting age 40, we start to develop what's called sarcopenia, which is muscle mass loss. And that occurs uh, beginning in the 40s, 50s, all the way through, you know, through 70s, 80s and, and beyond. And so one way to help um, mitigate this is to get increased protein in the diet. It'll help. You also have to do activity, exercise, weight training. I just recommend my, my mom do some weight training. Uh, she's in her mid 70s and um, weight training is for everybody um, of course it should be done under medical advisement and so work with a trainer if you're new to weight training but eating the amount of protein in a higher amount I, I would my my recommendation would be 50 percent over that of the 0.8 grams per kilogram of boss mentioned um, for very active individuals um, young or old um, oftentimes there even some that advocate like peter tia is advocating one gram per pound. I mean, that's that's a lot of protein. That could be up to you know, 180, 200 grams a day. Um, it it that, that is for a very active person. Um, you know, it, you hear Atia talking about him um, backpacking with rocks rucking in his uh, in his in his backpack. So very active adults probably need more. Um, but it it, it appears that um, uh, based on research, it up to two grams per kilogram so that would be r roughly equate to one gram per pound is probably safe for most people however there's always a but uh, if if someone has uh, if you have chronic kidney disease kidney problems you may want to be cautious about the amount of protein in the diet and uh, higher protein diets look to be uh, not so good for those with chronic kidney disease and there is some evidence that plant-based diets may be better because they have lower protein loads uh, compared to the animal-based diets uh, for uh, those with chronic kidney uh, disease. So um, too much protein uh, above uh, two grams per kilogram um, hasn't really been studied well, but the, for those with chronic kidney disease, just uh, watch out. We wanted to focus um, this video also on um, protein supplements, protein powder, and this is these have taken the market by storm. Type in protein powder into Amazon, You'll get like a hundred different products, organic, plant-based, non-organic, um, you know, uh, milk-based, uh, uh, collagen-based. There's hundreds of different sources. Really, it's all the different foods that you can imagine. These things are 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 um, these foods are then um, used. For example, whey, uh, which is part of uh, which is milk milk protein. Um, it can be uh, taken off and taken out of uh, milk and uh, when, when it's um, being made and turned into and turned into protein powders and other uh, forms, it seems like a perfect um, option, right? It's a great uh, way to boost up your protein. You can drink it like a shake, put it in water, or mix it with milk, other and and drink it, sip on it as a meal replacement or as a snack. However, there's a dark side, and I want I'd like a boss to comment on this a little bit because I I was pretty shocked when I uh, read about the the dark side of protein. Uh, powder and the lack of regulation. Uh, the protein, if you go or um, any health food store or Amazon, there's more than probably 200 different brands. 
the unfortunate thing, none of them is has been studied adequately to for the pros and cons, and FDA does not regulate um, because this is such a supplement. So they are self-regulated, and of course, if you look at the label, they all, you know, it says mine is better than that, whether it's plant-based, whether it's egg-based, or whether many other types in that, uh, that you can buy. So, so essentially, they are self-regulated, and, uh, and sometimes the more flavoring in they put into it for stabilization, the more um, harm to your body. But essentially, um, there is not adequate um, studies on those, so you cannot make judgment, all of that. So, so there's a center for um, labeling, um, and uh, I highly recommend that you guys look at through It's called Clean Label Project, called Clean Label Project. Dot org. You can go over there, look at and uh, see how the labeling and, uh, goes with uh, what's uh, in the package. And they um, took, uh, at, I believe, about 130 lots of the uh, common um, uh, protein powders and they uh, tried to study see what's in there, what's going on. But um, the detail is uh, a lot, so you guys can find all the detail yourself. But in general, when you look at the um, the protein powder, they have large amounts of lead as well as very heavy metals, and particularly I think and one was surprising the one that was I believe chocolate based even had even more lead, which is these are toxins to your body, and then when you look at the plant based all of those things they have very high concentration of the fertilizer and other type of phosphate that makes them grow, and these are all carcinogens. So, so, so it's, um, it's easy to make a shake in the morning and, and uh, you know, just to, to, to go. And, uh, but uh, what I see in my practice, one of the most common cause of the, um, the, the GI distress that I see a lot, one, um, depending if it was animal protein and, and some of them, they're hyperconstant, they can cause constipation, bloatiness, and when um, a lot of the plant-based, when they get to the colon with bacteria, they use them as a source of energy and they give gas and bloat and, and discomfort. And, uh, and I'm not sure whether how they affect on our uh, you know, microbial in our gut at, when they digest those. And I'm sure um, uh, they cause us more um, inflammatory process as we try to stay healthy. So, so uh, so be aware what what you're doing, and I think one of the best thing to supplement uh, your your protein is just based on regular variety of the protein. For example, you know in the morning eggs, avocado, you know plain yogurt, you know fish, chicken. So so you, to get your essential amino acids, and I, I think that uh, the basic you have to be be aware to so, so mix and variety and seasonal. What we need, for example, in the fall and winter, you may just need more, um, you know, protein base from the animal base as you need a lot of calorie to survive the cold weather and maybe some less during the summertime. So, so beware what you're taking, but the, uh, I highly recommend you go to the uh, to this labeling and, and to see what it is because some of this protein powder, they may have other things such as growth hormone, maybe other um Think to build muscles and you look temporary may look good but um, be aware of the longer term use of this thank you abbas we'll include the clean level project in our in our show notes also i found it interesting that some of the organic products actually had more heavy metals than the non-organic ones yeah it is it is it is very difficult i think anytime you take something is nature made for thousands of years and then then you you know make it to powder, get it ready, and and all of that. So so they they there is all um, pros and cons and um, to to what to do and what sources you and and I highly recommend not to stick with one brand or one thing. So uh, but I think just try to you know as uh, use um, a common sense and 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 and, and uh, know what's what goes in your mouth. It becomes cooperated in almost every cell in your body. So you said, because this we cannot store and you know protein, and so it's very, very important to get adequate protein with that adequate hydration, and as well as getting enough uh, you know uh, fiber, so you don't get um, gas and bloat. And you have to be 
balanced fiber, not the the one that helps you with your your the, the bacteria and uh, the, which are millions of in our colon for be able to fight immune uh, um, for our immune system for causing inflammation. And I'm not sure some of these heavy metals all things I think defeat the purpose cause probably more inflammatory causes than than if you get it from the that from the nature. Yeah, many uh, health food and um, other advocates, um, you know, Mark Hyman, um, Dr. St- Stephen Gundry, they have their own products, and um, I, I don't know what what if those are, have any of the contaminants that we mentioned. However, the uh, components of a healthy diet are what we you know we, we talk about all the time, and what you, what what our listeners know what we talk about is a whole food diet, eating real food is the key. Um, and so um, these protein powders, um, maybe, I, and I, I'm quite suspicious, they're probably more risk than, than benefit. Abbas, do you have any other comments? As I always mention, fast food, fast life. If you want to just go quickly, get something fast to do that, not prepared, you know, there, there is an element that can going to come to later on. So, so spend, you know, adequate times, you know, and the stuff has been mentioned as basic elements of longevity, you know, the stress, hydration, uh, and meal preparation, and try to go a little extra step, you know, choose wisely, just, you know, buy your own produce, cook your own food, have, you know, you cannot live on nuts. I know there's some religion actually, they eat nuts all the time, but you cannot live, you know, just balance it out. So even the yogurt or, I mean, from the, from the dairy product, you know, I think the plain yogurt has much, much better protein than than milk by itself or cheese and, and is has so much better um, for our gut biome. So so choose wisely and among the nuts, you know, walnuts, almonds, cashew, mix them up with the different type of uh, things. And then, you know, as an animal, I think, again, I highly stress, you know, salmon and, and good uh, fish with some chicken. And try to avoid the, the, the you know process protein plus process is process um, uh, yeah, food and which is which is in lots of these uh, both powders as well as some of the you know jerkies and other things. So so choose wisely and live a long life. I would just add for the fish, if you can get wild caught salmon, that's going to be way more nutritious than the the farm raised ones. They the farm-raised ones eat a diet that has a lot of uh, corn and other um, other meal in it. It's probably well, supplements, they, and they don't have as much uh, as a, as a result. They just don't have as much omega three in them as they normally would because they're not eating their normal um, marine environment. They're eating this feed, uh, and um, so yeah, choose wisely. Um, it's a uh, it's it, it's it's tough out there uh, to eat healthy food, but it can be done. And um, as always, if you like our videos and would like to get the latest updates, hit that subscribe button. Um, until next time, I'm Rob from Two Dogs Talk and joined by a boss. And uh, thanks again. And eat what nature gave you. Live a healthy life.